do you know about Fort Reno? Or about Fort C.F. Smith? Can an individual find the site of Fort Reno or the site of Fort C.F. Smith? What can be seen if you do find them, and does anything still exist? These two forts, along with their sister post of Fort Phil Kearney, had a brief but bloody history in the story of the war on the Western Plains. In this video, I will take you to the sites of these forts, show what is there to see, and tell a little about the history of each fort. Hi, this is the Wyoming Traveler, and I am at the site of Fort Reno, Wyoming, on a nice, warm June day. Forts Reno, Phil Kearney, and C.F. Smith were established in 1866 to protect travelers going to the Montana gold fields along what was known as the Bozeman Trail. The trail, however, ran through prime Indian hunting grounds. Various bands of Cheyenne and Sioux, under Chief Red Cloud of the Ogallala Sioux, and other chiefs vowed to drive the soldiers out of the area, but that is the subject of another video. This video is focusing on Fort C.F. Smith and its sister fort, Fort Reno. What became of them? And what, if anything, is left of these historic posts? Fort Reno was the first of the Bozeman Trail forts. Named Fort Connor, it was established in 1865, not to guard the trail, but as a forward supply base for General Patrick Connor's Powder River Expedition to punish the Cheyenne and Sioux for their attacks along the Oregon-California Trail. The fort was to be strengthened in 1866, enclosed with a stockade. Additional buildings were constructed to house the increased garrison. It was renamed Fort Reno for General Jesse Reno, who was killed at the Battle of South Mountain in 1862. The fort was the southern anchor of the Bozeman Trail forts. During its brief three-year history, Fort Reno was under constant siege. While the fort itself was never attacked, the Indians continually attacked military patrols, work parties, travelers, and raided livestock. Life at the fort was a constant danger. The fort sat on a bluff overlooking the powder rip river and the Bozeman Trail. This is the area of Fort Reno. Walking along the perimeter here at Fort Reno, you can see that there is absolutely nothing left. Reno is truly a lost and forgotten fort. However, in this aerial photo, the outline of the south and east walls can be clearly seen. Fort Reno was abandoned in 1868 at the conclusion of the Red Clouds War. Shortly after the troops left, the fort was burned by the victorious Indians. In addition to the stone marker at the site of the fort, the state also has three information markers that are located on a turnoff across the road from the fort. These markers give a brief history of the fort and the life of the people who live there.
Fort, or rather containment, Reno, returned to life in 1876. In 1876, containment Reno was established a few miles south of the original fort and served as a supply base for General Crook's forces as they marched north into the Powder River area in the Great Sioux War of 1876. By 1877, Containment Reno had over 40 buildings and was renamed Fort McKinney. Because of serious shortages of wood, forage, and water, the fort was moved 45 miles north to Clear Creek. Fort Reno is located east of KC, Wyoming. If going to Fort Reno, be sure to visit the Hoof Prints of the Past Museum. It's a nice museum with information about Fort Reno and an excellent diorama of the fort. If Fort Reno is a lost and forgotten fort, then Fort C.F. Smith is truly lost, and I do mean lost and forgotten. This monument is all there is to identify the site of Fort C.F. Smith, and almost no one sees it. Fort C.F. Smith is located on private land, with no public access. When I was in the area, I attempted to get permission to visit the site, but was unable to contact the owner. The pictures I am using are the ones I found online. Fort C.F. Smith was the northern post of the three Bozeman Trail forts. It was established in 1866 and, like the other two forts, was under constant attack by Cheyenne and Sioux warriors. The Hayfield Fight of 1867 was the most famous of these engagements. That battle is the subject of another video. This is Fort Smith today. With the conclusion of the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868, Fort C.F. Smith was abandoned. Soon thereafter, Cheyenne warriors burned the fort. Because many of the fort's buildings and much of the walls were made of adobe, remains of Fort C.F. Smith stood even into the early years of the 20th century. That is not the situation today. My research says that all that remains are mounds of earth where the buildings and the fort walls once were. These two forts, lost and forgotten as they are today, played an important and tumultuous role in American history.